a roost from Safari and where we've got um, three solar panels here linked up with uh, the shadowing optimizers on the back of them that you can see they're fitted and we have three here with no shadowing optimizer on them and we've got three at the end that we're not using at the moment so there's altogether nine 70 watt panels here and we've got the first three in a series string and the second three in a series string. The VOC of these panels is about 28 volts and we're going to shutter them and see what the noticeable difference is uh, between the two setups. This is a view of the complete solar panel array here and we've got two groups of three 70 watt panels in series um, and here we are looking at two iPhones looking at two identical 120 amp solar controllers into the single battery and here's a close-up shot showing that uh, they more or less run at very similar MPPT levels and uh, are performing virtually identically uh, when there's no shading. There's the uh, anti-shading controllers on the back of those three and you can see on the back of these three here there isn't any at all. Now we go and have a look at the uh, shading effect and in front of the solar panels we're holding up uh, a clear translucent material to simulate a sort of a cloud and we're doing one panel on the left with the uh, anti-shading uh, controllers and one panel on the right um, side by side without them and let's look at the results and now we start to see a remarkable difference. So the one without the anti-shading controllers 24 watts, the one with the anti-shading controllers 103 watts. Uh, pretty amazing and we stood there for quite some time to see if uh, this would change. So the conclusion I have is that if the shadowing is um, amorphous and uh, not totally blocking out the solar controller, the difference is remarkable.